My name is Jennifer Height. I work with Bergen County CASA. We're a non-for-profit that supports foster children in Bergen County. How did you know that this is what you wanted to do? Well, I started out as an advocate myself, so I started out as a volunteer. I was, it was during the pandemic and the world was in a tough place and I was just wanting to give back to my community and I had known somebody many years ago that worked for a CASA organization out in California when I used to live there. And when I was looking for organizations to volunteer time with, I came across this article that talked about uh, the 10 best organizations nationally. And there is a national CASA board, but we're run at the county level. So I read about that and I remembered that I had a friend who had worked with CASA. I Googled to see if Bergen County had one and got in touch. And uh, there's a vetting process. I was vetted and I um, passed through the interview process and background check and I went through um, the training program and became an advocate myself. And I've been an advocate for three years now and have been also involved behind the scenes uh, so much so that the organization asked me to help out with development and doing more to get the word out because it's a pretty small organization. Who are the people that you support most within the community? When it comes to Bergen Casa, we outreach to families that are in need in Bergen County through the foster care system. So while our goal is to support children that have experienced abuse or neglect, oftentimes we're not just helping the child, we're helping the family as well because sometimes the situation is not such that the parents aren't willing to take care of the child. Sometimes they just don't have the resources and they need some help. So one of the things that CASA does is help parents with resources as well. So maybe the parent is having a hard time finding a place to live or a job. So we can maybe help with uh, some of the support systems around that and help them become a better parent and be able to come back into the child's life. Um, conversely, sometimes parents aren't able to do that, but there's a foster or a kinship and kinship meeting. It's a, it's a relative of the child maybe that they could be doing a better job for the child. So we will help those adults be a better um, caregiver for the children as well. What has been the biggest challenge you faced regarding this company? We faced a challenge that we, uh, we support every foster child in Bergen County. We receive funding from a lot of grants and we're supported operationally so from our office space to the few employees that we have but the bulk of the work is done by volunteers which we're very blessed that we don't have to pay we have about 96 volunteers right now and they do hundreds of hours worth of work with these children so that's unpaid volunteer work but there are a lot of necessities that we need to fund to support these foster kids either material goods such as clothes, um, items for school, backpacks, school supplies. Sometimes if it's a food insecure situation, we help out with gift cards to local grocery stores. Um, but kids also need programs. They need after school programs. They need summer programs. So we, we are oftentimes paying for things like tutoring, swimming lessons, gymnastic lessons. Um, things cost you know quite a bit of money to help um, support all the children that we, we have right now, I think we're close to 150 children that we're supporting. So we have to go out and work with local organizations that want to help the community just as we do. Um, and so we're constantly fundraising for it, for that. So that is our biggest challenge is coming up with um, and connecting with local organizations and businesses that support our mission to help children in foster care. What is your favorite aspect about this company that distinguishes you from others in the same industry or just in general? I think what makes us different from other non-for-profits is that we have real in-depth relationship with the community that we serve. So the courts rely upon us to work with the foster child um, and their uh, families, both their biological families and uh, the families that um, they're living with to um, really get to know them um, from a uh, what's happening in the home, how are visits with the parents going, how are they doing in school, are they up to date on all their m m medical needs. Uh, so we're really working with everybody in the child's life to make sure that uh, things are moving in the right direction for them. And I think that that sets us apart because we, 
we're so connected and um, doing really deep, meaningful work. And uh, we've heard often from the family court judges that they really rely on our CASA court reports to make the major decisions um, in those child's life. So it's it's a very meaningful work that we do. Last question. Okay. What is your favorite color? My favorite color would be blue because I love uh, things all related to the sky and the water and just a very beautiful color that goes with everything.